ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome. This is the first part of the Let's Play Rise of Venice. Thanks for watching. And I already like the introduction of the game with this uh, fluid water and it's really looking nice and also the music is very nice. I love it. Your grandfather's last wish was that you become a trader. So to lead our family to prestige and wealth, I will support you as best I can. First and foremost, you should familiarize yourself with the basic principles. Okay, so uh, we can start the uh, tutorial and uh, start the video here. Welcome to Rise of Venice, the trade and economic simulation game set at the time of the Renaissance. In this game, your goal is to rise from a simple shopkeeper to a powerful merchant. You do this by trading goods and transporting them between the different cities of the Mediterranean. You can use W, A, S, D to scroll the screen view and the middle mouse button to adjust the zoom. Convoys are responsible for the transport of goods. The convoys you see here are controlled by traders from the different cities. They ensure that the goods produced in any given city are distributed amongst all of the cities. You can recognize your own convoys by their blue sails. You can select a convoy by clicking it or using the convoy button in the HUD. You send out a convoy by clicking on a city with the right mouse button. However, you can only click on cities you have previously discovered. You can use the space key to speed up time. Incidentally, you can also change the normal simulation time ratio whenever you wish. In order to trade in a city, you must have a convoy anchored there. Select it, then click on the marketplace. The trade window shows you which goods you have on board and which goods the city has in stock. Goods of which there is a large stock on hand are cheaper There's due to the principle of supply and demand. Each city can produce five goods. As a rule, you can buy those goods cheaply. To purchase a good, click on it and move the mouse. You can see how the price increases if you buy a lot of goods. Do not buy if a city has less than two bars of stock. Release the mouse button to complete the trade. Sell the goods in a city in which they are not produced and the supply is low. Don't sell there if there are two or more bars of stock on hand. By the way, when you have a warehouse in a city, other trade options become available. You can then also trade between the warehouse and the convoy and the city and the warehouse. You can do more in cities than simply trade. Other actions can be performed in the corresponding buildings in the city. Either you click directly on a building or you use the middle mouse button to open the building menu. And now for a few tips. You can also perform many actions right on the mini-map. You can close all the dialogues with a right click. You can use the game menu to save your game at any time. You can also see all key assignments in the options menu. Tips are displayed on this page below. Many dialogues contain info icons that display additional information. Okay, thank you. So I'm not going to rush here uh, through any of the tutorials because uh, I want this uh, video to be helpful for uh, especially new players who never played kind of uh, kind of game like this, like Attrition or uh, Port Royale. So. 
I will explain everything here and we are going to make it uh, really... Yeah, uh, not really slow, but uh, just in a normal speed like you would progress through the game if you are new to the game. Okay, so this is our city, Venice. We can... This is the lowest zoom or the highest zoom in that case that you can have and moving the map with the WASD buttons ok then you can zoom out like this yeah and you see here's Italy and you have already some parts revealed and some are not that uh, those you still have to uncover. Okay, but we're going with the story for now, which is we should sail our convoy to the city of Sarah. Okay, Sarah is here. So, uh, we should select our A convoy. convoy is idle. He's idle, okay. Oh, what's that? No. Um, Takama. I want to change the name of Takama first and we call it uh, Anna. Or Anna. <laughs> I call it Anna. Okay. <laughs> and now we are going to sail to Sarah, which is here. Okay. And sail set. And we are going. Uh, I have to speed on one, but there's also. Good. Uh, five. Now you know how to send convoys out. Now it's time for your first trade. The city of Zara is known for its pottery workshops, so you can hope for some good deals at the market there. Buy the goods and take them to Venice. Since no pottery is produced in your hometown, you are certain to be able to sell them at a profit. Okay, I didn't want to interrupt him. So uh, back to the game speed, you have uh, 5, you have 1 and 0 0.1, but also you have 0. Okay. And uh, if you press the spacebar, you can even speed up to 10 times faster. Okay, so we should enter the market here in Zara and buy 40 pottery. Okay, so where's the marketplace here? And this is pottery. Yeah, they have two bars, so the price should be okay. And we can buy. We can even buy more than 40. We can buy. Whoa, 180. <laughs> and still have the price with uh, 79. Okay. And 180 is the maximum load on our Anna. Okay, so now we should go back to Venice. Okay. There we go, and back to speed. To the normal speed. Which is 1. And we have a little tip here. The trade window lets you trade between your warehouse or your convoy and the city. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, it's the thing that the green bar of zero is the stock is very low and the price for the good accordingly high. One is the city currently still has enough goods but still pays more than the normal price of production. And two to four is the city has plenty of that good. You should only buy goods when they show two or more bars. You should only sell when they show uh, zero or one bar. Yeah, okay. So it's important because otherwise you won't make a profit. And we're going to make a profit right now here in Venice. Uh, okay, you see we bought pottery for 79 and here we will buy it for 132. So that's a nice little profit and we can even sell all of them and make a win of 23,000 uh, gold. Very nice. Okay, so we completed this mission. Let's see what's the next one. Well done. 
I think you made quite a tidy little profit on that sale. You may have noticed that you cannot trade in all goods. The reason is that your rank is currently too low. Each time you rise in rank, new trading rights are added. But more on that later. Right now, I have a new ship for you to add to your convoy. Okay, thank you. We get a new ship, so we have more space for more goods. Um, it's saying you can add the new ship at the lighthouse. Well, this is the lighthouse, but the official name is uh, Harbour Master. So don't get confused. And we add this one to our convoy. And we're done. You can enlarge a convoy as much as you want by adding more ships. But now, I have another mission for you. I have just learned that food is scarce in Ragusa. You should use this opportunity to make some real profit from trading. And in doing so, you will also be helping the people there and increasing their prosperity. Okay, so we need to buy grain and fruit in Athens and terrazzo and salad in Ragusa. Okay, so on the map. I can see Varagusa is there and Durazzo is there. Okay, but Athens is not there yet, so we need to uncover it. Uh, it should be around here, maybe. Let's see. So Anna is on the way and I'm speeding up the time. You see now it's getting really really fast. Yeah, there's Evans. Okay. Great my geo skills. <laughs> so I need to enter the harbor. There we are, the bells are ringing. And mark the place. Oh, what's that? Uh, no trade license. You need. You have to acquire a license in order to trade in this city. Well. Okay. We have forty-six thousand gold. So let's buy a license. For oh, one thousand four hundred eighty. Mm. He's saying, since your reputation in Venice is so good, I have taken the liberty of lowering this fee. Okay, so what's the normal price? <laughs> I know. Okay, it's on cheap. So, okay, we take it. Oh, well, and now we can trade. Uh, first look to the city info. What are they producing? They are producing grain, wine, bread, meat and cloth. You can see here in the goods list like how much they're producing in 10 days. 300 grain. No fruits, so we can't take fruits from Athens. I bet they are produced in Durazzo. But they are producing wine, meat and this. Yeah, but we can't trade that right now. Right, let's see. No, only up to wine. The other goods we cannot trade right now. So let's get some grain. Oh, I only want to buy it at the price of 39, so that's only 16 for now. And I will take some wine. Oh, only really some, three. Okay, and then I need to wait until they add more. Uh, but the time is paused, it seems, when you're in the, uh, in the trade window, so I have to close it. So it's the 21st of December. I'll check back. No. Okay. Yeah, maybe we're waiting for the 22nd of December. But we have not added something. 
Okay, we really need to wait more. Maybe now. Yes, okay. We'll wait two bars, two uh two green bars. <laughs> it's only twelve. Oh, 16. 16 is the most we can take out. We have 32 now. And maybe some wine. Uh, three. Okay. We should see our cargo here. Yeah, 32 grain, 6 wine, and we need the 23rd of December to arrive. Yeah, I like how it looks. <laughs> the water is really nice, animated, and so are the other ships. Okay, let's see. Yeah, okay, there's some more grain on the marketplace. And that adds up to 16. And again, I take some wine. Okay, I think I want it to be 50-50. 50 grain, 50 fruits. So, we just wait for Christmas Eve. <laughs> okay, it's Christmas Eve now, but usually fill the market only... After four o'clock, I would, <laughs> I would think. Okay. Since I have uh, space for one, uh, no, I have the second ship already. Okay, I have uh, much more space. How much? Four hundred thirty. So uh, I don't mind of taking some more with me. Okay. And now from Athens to the Ratzel, right? The Ratzel is there. And I speed up, or maybe I shouldn't speed up, but I should show you how nicely animated the ship is. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Seems to be like really fast in this uh, zoom. Okay, we have a new tip. Oh. Okay, this is the trading license. The rank, yeah, the rank is here, 90%. Okay, I like this option here. This is, uh, you can take notes and uh, save it. And then it's going to be there when you start the game the next time. In case you save the game, of course. <laughs> this is very handy. Okay, Durazzo, uh, I need... I need fruits from you. Okay, well, there are fruits. Okay, 60 is the price. Wow, they have a lot of fruits. Your efforts to familiarize yourself with the life of a trader have not gone unnoticed. Unfortunately, not just for the good. It seems some families on the Council of Venice mock us. Still, we can be happy that not everyone on the Council thinks that way. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see if we can trade anything more. Yeah, Adobe bricks. Oh, not much, it's 22. And uh, the rest you need some wine. Yeah, you need some wine, obviously. Okay, nice. So reputation has increased, you can see it here, it's uh, 5% at the moment. And now we're going to sail to Ragusa, which is here, okay. So let's see, okay, 22 adobe bricks, 60 grain, 80 fruits, and we're almost there. Okay, let's ring the bell. Good. <laughs> okay. So, Ragusa, you need grain, I have heard. They are paying 66, and we bought it for 39. 
we can set all the way through and food we pay 60 they pay 100 nice little profit and you see our popularity is now 25% nice okay let's see what's the next mission well then Supplying Ragusa has certainly improved your standing with the Council of Venice. Good thing. Because to rise in rank, it's not enough just to meet all the requirements. You have also to appear before the Council, for only its members can award you a higher rank. And that benefits our entire family. You should now take the opportunity to move up in rank. Okay, great, but I see the blue bars already full. Yeah, 100%, so we can rank up. Uh, where can I check the... Where can I check the things that I need? Um, advanced... Yeah, here. Okay, here it is, in the logbook. Okay, you see 150k was the requirement for wealth, uh, 430 for storage and zero worker or sailor. Okay, so we need to go back to, or do we actually have to go back with the ship or can we, let's, let's just try it. Uh, city, ho no, Senate. And here is the advancement button and you see a percentage of how much the serious man, you're a, the honorable man, are going to grant you the advancement. It's all over 50%. You see one guy, this Tommaso Morosini, has a star. This could mean he wants something from us. Needs your help. Mm. Tip. Sometimes a city is ravaged, ravaged by an event. Okay. <coughs> okay. So what is here? Oh, okay. He has uh, a treasure map that he could sell to me for ten thousand, or I could bribe him <laughs> every month or one time. Uh, but I think. These numbers are looking okay, so I will just try to at once without doing anything more. So let's click the advancement. Okay, I have everything that is required. Uh, as a rule, a family can vote for, against or abstain. A family is only certain to agree when your reputation with them is well over 50%. Keep in mind that 30 days must between votes. Oh, okay. So let's start. Oh, I got an achievement. <laughs> Landslide. Nice. So I wonder they are working on the twenty uh, on the thirty first of December. <laughs> Maybe they are celebrating after. So I get thumbs up from every man here. That's great. They are celebrating. <laughs> nice. So what's happening now? Congratulations. As of today, you are now a wholesaler and therefore allowed to have two convoys. As a gift on your advancement, a few of the richest families have given had 200 fruits delivered to your home warehouse. Okay, this is interesting because this is uh, this seems to be always something different. The reward you get here, uh, you can get a ship, or you can get a special mission, or you can get goods, as it seems. Okay, nice. You actually did it. When your grandfather demanded you lead the life of a trader to allow our family to advance socially, I never thought that you would be so successful so quickly. And now, I have a new task for you. The Morosinis, 
Family friends need your help with some transport. Okay. Nice. Uh, just let's check my home warehouse. Greetings. Everything is going as planned. Okay. And where are my fruits? There. Okay. I got two fruits. That's nice. Uh, so let's see if we can sell some right away. Never would make any sense because uh, the price is very low here in Venice. But I should take some on my ship. So how do we do this? Ah, okay, because my Anna is not in Venice, of course, yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, so, it's better to actually go to Venice for completing the mission, because uh, we need to have this delivery for the Morosinis. And we will meet him in Venice City Hall. Okay. Uh, City Hall is here. And, oh, okay, mission. Can you help us out with something? Ah, yeah, okay, there's no convoy selected in Venice, so we actually have to wait until Anna is there. There she is. Okay, nice. Okay, ring the bells. Yeah. Okay, again, City Hall, mission. It's good to see you, ah, okay. because we have a problem. Now we have the recover button. So there is some cargo on board, but it's not showing anything here. So it must be a letter or something, which, which doesn't take any space. So then, now we need to roam. Where's Rome? Where's Rome? Yes, Rome. Okay. Let's go there. And it will take... You always have the information here how many days it will take. 3.2. So we will arrive there January 7th. Okay, I just want to see my ship. Uh, yeah, nice. <laughs> Okay, maybe I should speed it up a bit. Very nice. Okay. The Morosin is arranged a trading license for Rome for you. You can now buy and sell goods at will there. Usually, you have to buy those licenses from the city's market overseer, and they are expensive. Now, go out and get two more trading licenses from whichever cities you wish. Okay, nice. We got a train license for Rome. And. Uh, oh. We should see if we can buy something here. What do we have? Adobe bricks. Okay. Um, no. This is. Uh, too expensive, oh no, I want them. <laughs> and some wine. There's some oriental music in the background. Okay, so the music is not city based. Okay, wow, there's lots of wine that I could buy here. I can even buy more? No. Okay. Um. So two more licenses, uh, li license says, oh what, uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, where do we go, maybe to Pisa, yeah let's see what they have in Pisa, we 
you speed it up? Okay, let's see. Let's go down to Pisa. Okay, as a citizen of Venice, you cannot acquire a trading license in the city by legal means. Why is that? I will need to bribe, and how much is it? 9,000. No, man. Thanks, sir. <laughs> uh, I am not Donald Trump at the moment. Uh, let's try Tunis. And speed it up. There's a message from Venice. There's a message from Venice. But where? Uh, you discovered a secret or hidden coastal town with your convoy. You should take a convoy and visit the place for there may be a black market or a special mission to be found there. Uh, what? <laughs> okay, first of all, let's go to Tunis. Okay, we can get a license here. That's nice. And what do they produce? Thing? Pottery, fruits, cotton clove and bread oh unfortunately your reputation in Venice is not the best so I cannot give you this uh, discount yeah but 1500 is okay I mean it's better than there's a scruffy pirate off the city of Durazzo who's interfering with trade what? maybe you can drive him off that would gain you a better reputation in the council of ten at any rate uh, can I get this message in text, actually? He wants to do naval battles already. <laughs> oh, I think it's a bit early in the game. Uh, okay, but we... Uh, well, why are these so... They have three bars, but the price is rising already after one item. Ooh. And, uh, but I can buy, I, I can sell some adobe bricks, but not much. And uh, some wine? No, I can. So, oh well, profit of 4000. This is okay. Okay, and then maybe we buy a license in Palermo, we will see. Can oh no <laughs> okay um so what about what do we have here we should discover some of our places places who is this Tripoli okay let's try in Tripoli. You have to buy a license? Yeah. But there's no button to buy a license. Why not? <laughs> Maybe because it's not an alley? Uh huh. <laughs> okay. That's uh, something I wasn't aware of. Oh, there's no city around here. There must be Kendia. Okay, let's try Kendia. No, they are allied with Venice, but we cannot buy a license. What? Why? <laughs> hmm. Okay, now maybe I have to. I have to actually sail into the uh, into the harbor, and then ask for a license. Maybe that was the problem. Well, let me check. Yeah, that was the problem. Okay, so it must not be an ally. You can still buy a license. 
Okay. 1750. That's okay. So, what do we have here? Oh, oil. Oh, that's nice. Get some oil. And fruits and grain. Okay. Excellent. Your new trading licenses should make it easier for you to buy goods at better prices. And, at the same time, you have opened up more markets for your own goods. Do you still remember Uncle Marco? He was your grandfather's favorite captain, and he would like to join you. Just form a new convoy in Venice, and he will offer you his services as captain. Okay, Uncle Marco. <laughs> yeah. How can I forget Uncle Marco? The one, the, the Marco, the uncle. <laughs> um, okay, so I guess we need to go back to Venice. Because we need our convoy there to get separated. Because I'm not going to invest in a ship right now. We can check the price, but I think it will be too much. Um, So who is the harbor master? Shit. Hmm. Yeah, that's the question. Who is going to build or sell ships? Hmm. Has someone been behaving inappropriately? Do they have some info here? I could. No, okay, I think they are wanting us in this, in this mission to re separate the convoys again. Uh, separate the ships again. So we're speeding up the time. There's no tip. You should have a regular look at the chronicle. Chronicle is here. Yeah. Okay, so the biggest cities are Venice. What are you? Know, production per day. But uh, producing the most is uh, Pisa. Uh, producing wood. Okay. You can see the stats for every single good in the game here. Yeah. Wow, that's very nice for statistics. Oh, we have, uh, well, we have, <laughs> we have this little uh, diagram here for goods prices. But for which market is this? Oh, I don't know. We'll find out later. Population, okay. Population in the city, okay. That's nice. I love statistics. Okay, so let's go to Venice. There we are. Okay, Harbour Master, and we're splitting them up. Yeah. And we have the walk. And there's Uncle Marco already. He's ready to command the new convoy. Okay, so we call it uh, Marco after his name. And form convoy. Great. Very good. I'm sure Uncle Marco will serve you well. I hope so. All captains gain experience over time and become better and better. But your Uncle Marco is already very experienced. Your next step should be to rise in rank so you can trade other goods. Yeah, that's important. I want to trade all goods. <laughs> so, how do we step up? Uh, advancement here. Okay, we need... Oh, just more gold. 
Okay. So that is what we're going. Then this is what we're going to try in the next part of Let's Play Rise Awareness for this part. I say, see you later. <laughs>